So yeah, let's get started with this new presentation or with this next presentation. So thanks, uh, first of all, to Esri for having me for this presentation. And the topic that we're going to talk about today is City Engine at Urban Studios, um, production of real-time optimized 3D architecture. Um, so very quickly about myself, my name is Matthias Bühler. Uh, my background is in architecture. I'm the founder and CTO of Urban Studios here located in Switzerland. Um, in the past, I've been a workshop uh, or Nomen workshop instructor. I worked uh, some time in visual effects, uh, namely at Scanline Visual Effects in Vancouver, where I implemented uh, mainly a procedural workflow for city engine uh, for city creation. Um, and altogether, I've been pretty much for the last 10 years doing nothing else than procedural modeling or especially procedural architecture and city modeling. Um, cool. So this was uh, the image that we see now here is one of the uh, projects that I made as a hobby project together with my friend. Uh, and it shows a little bit, um, let's say, my my. Uh, personal passion um, with procedural modeling and uh, and rendering. Now, uh, this image here is from uh, from an online course which I took a couple of weeks back. Uh, so that is something, or that's an environment that was uh, created uh, pretty much entirely procedurally using Houdini. Um, and this one here was a, a project that I wanted to do for quite some time. So it, it uses some procedural modeling uh, in City Engine, uh, but also some procedural uh, modeling in Houdini. And uh, it's it's about the story uh, or of this suspended city that has like two uh let's say two types of societies one is more the let's say upper class one is more the the lower class more slumish types of um and urban environments so the story is not yet told but if you have some ideas let me know uh yeah so i've been tinkering quite a lot with um let's say creative projects uh, i did a lot of consulting also um, but in today's topic, uh, we are looking at the more at in general what we are doing here at Urban Studios. So let's have a quick look at the agenda. So first point, uh, we just did this introduction of presenter. Uh, and the next one will be a quick overview over Urban Studios, uh, the production and content that we are developing and some of the applications and at the end, like in every uh, or like like it after every presentation here at SIGGRAPH, we, we will have a, a quick Q&A. And obviously, I will also stick around uh, for some more questions afterwards. OK, so let's have a quick look at Urban Studios. So I found it. Urban Studios in 2017. Currently, we have nine employees and we're located very close to Zurich in Switzerland. And that's also actually very close to the uh, to the City Engine uh, dev team. Uh, we are also an Esri partner or an official Esri partner. Uh, so that's a very, uh, very cool thing to be geographically so close to the actual developers of City Engine. Now, um, I mentioned before, I've, I've been doing more, let's say, photorealistic uh, projects or rendered projects. But over the time, um, especially now in, in our work at Urban Studios, I dived more into real world applications uh, or real, not real world, real time applications. And um, here we see two screenshots of uh, this favela project I, I did with my friend. Um, and what we did here is in a close collaboration with Esri R&D, we brought this over to Unreal Engine and visualized this pretty, pretty complex data set uh, in, in real time. Now, what do we do? So Urban Studios is, I would say, quite unique in the sense of that we only 
focus or we uniquely focus on the creation of 3D urban environments and 3D architecture, high quality 3D architecture. Uh, so there are three points that I think uh, are important to understand uh, how we work or what we are doing in general. So first of all, we, is we combine the expertise in classic architecture with the creation of high quality 3D buildings. Uh, then we are creating custom and off the shelf 3D buildings. And we are also doing consulting or other types of services. And the application for, or the, let's say the 3D models which we are creating, uh, those can be used in two main fields, and that is real-time applications and offline rendering. So real-time obviously uh, has um, is, is used for, for games or VR, um, or as we'll later see uh, certain aspects of virtual production or autonomous driving, while offline rendering can be used for, for many different other things like VFX or commercials and so on and so on. Um, a little bit of uh, projects that uh, where we have been working on. So the image we are seeing here is from an exhibition where we were involved in creating some of the 3D worlds for the Ideal Spaces Working Group. So this is an exhibition that was um, held in Venice at the Architecture Biennale and that was exhibited for six months. And the context was, uh, let's say, ideal, ideal um, cities. And one of those cities that we built for this exhibition was this, uh, this very abstract uh, reconstruction of Tel Aviv in 1935 by the original plan of Patrick Geddes. Uh, obviously here, lots of city engine work and then brought everything over to Unity uh, and visualized in, uh, in Unity in this real-time context. Uh, then another project that we have been uh, working on that is for the PC game called Transport Fever 2. So this is, um, this is a simulation game, it's actually also a Swiss game. Uh, and for this production we actually produced over 500 um, very stylized uh, 3D buildings that are actually representing three different times uh, or ages or eras. So these are the modern buildings that we see here. Now, um, production, how do we work? Uh, just very at a very high level overview. So what we are building up or what we have been doing over the last, let's say one and a half years is we've been building up quite a large library of high quality materials and assets and um, and a workflow that is using mainly CD Engine and Houdini. And from this or using this workflow, what we are creating is a building definition which is agnostic of the target use. So that means for, for these high quality buildings that we are uh, producing, these, um, they, they come with multiple levels of detail, so they are actually optimized for, real, for a real-time context or for real-time applications, but they are also high quality enough for, uh, let's say, visual effects work or for uh, offline rendering. So, uh, if you are looking at um, where we are using these buildings is, first of all, we are uh, working or we already have finished our Unreal importer. Uh, we already have, a, uh, or also are pretty much finished with the latest version of our Unity importer. Uh, and then off, on the offline rendering side of things, we have a Redshift importer, uh, but there could uh, many more follow, like for example, Arnold or, or V-Ray or an importer for Clarice or Renderman or uh, things like that. Now, um, the point is, we just wanted to kind of, as a young company, we wanted to demonstrate uh, what the level is of, of expertise or what, uh, what uh, let's say, what quality of 3D buildings we can produce. So 
Uh, as I mentioned, one and a half years back, we actually went in and started to produce some high quality content, like, for example, the assets which you are seeing here, uh, or this one here, which are completely real time optimized. Uh, and all of those assets have three levels of detail. Now, we are using all of those assets and materials within City Engine, as we see in this preview screenshot here, to create relatively complex buildings, which we are then uh, post kind of post processing with our internal tools, uh, including Houdini, to create um, the, the, the high quality uh, buildings that are optimized and include, and include five levels of detail. So in this image here, you see a simple building or a smaller building uh, with the according levels of detail um, ranging from, I don't know, 60,000 triangles to down to two triangles. So obviously these buildings would be used either close in front of the camera or very, very far away from the camera. Uh, another example of the levels of detail here. Uh, this building is quite detailed with almost 250,000 triangles in the highest level of detail. And then the second level of detail, I'm going to switch now, um, is 115,000 triangles. So I'm going to switch back and forth, back and forth. So there's pretty much nothing visible. So we worked very hard on that. And then the third level of detail almost or a lot a lot less uh, triangles obviously just 8k triangles 10 triangles and two triangles uh, and here's a preview of um, of one of those buildings also so this screenshot was taken in unity so it's like real-time graphics uh, and another one here this is another uh, building that we made uh, and also screenshot made in Unity. Um, and now we we have expanded the, the production. So at the moment we are wrapping up uh, the, the bigger batch of 3D buildings that are style, let's say styled in a Los Angeles style. And uh, also this building here, completely real time capable. Uh, and the screenshots in this case also made in, uh, in Unity. So the idea of the buildings is that the buildings are consistent, that uh, they are completely fully PBR. They are optimized with multiple levels of detail. Uh, they also have uh, or ship with a collision mesh. And the idea is that they, ha that they are drag and drop friendly already or, or uh, directly delivered in the native file format. And obviously, what you can do afterwards is here again, back in City Engine, for example, use a set of those buildings and then just procedurally uh, distribute them for a, for a very large scale, very highly realistic um, uh, 3D environment. Another application also here is, uh, for example, I mentioned this at the very beginning, uh, the an application in virtual film production. So this is just an example where you have a green screen with an actor in front of it. And then you are just using uh, either a, a camera or an iPhone or whatever the, 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 the let's say the, the recording or the camera technologies that you're using and tracking in space, um, that you can actually use our real-time optimized 3D buildings for the virtual production. And obviously, if you, let's say you're picking one of the lower levels of detail for real-time performance, then you can also switch back to the very high, um, high quality of the buildings for, for example, offline rendering and uh, to have something like this here, um, or this image here, which both of those were rendered with, a, with an offline renderer. Um, and then this is also one of the directions that we are going into. This is uh, high quality film, uh, film set quality, or uh, let's say film back backdrop buildings. Um, 
in and this this image was created in collaboration with Equator Arts that provided uh, some of uh, some uh, let's say compositing support and matte painting support. Uh, so this is the direction where our uh, buildings are going towards. Yeah, so this is the the quick presentation. I hope you liked it. And now we are going into into a Q&A and I'm curious to hear your questions about City Engine. So let's go.